There goes the bell. And we're underway. Hercules Cortez quickly becoming a fan favorite here in Atlantic Canada. And the Iranian Sheik right now wants no part of this man, Hercules Ayala. He ain't a traitor, nobody. Nobody. That man owes me $6,000. Big Puerto Rican bum. Well, I ain't judging Christ that man. He's not lying either. The Sheik claiming he's number one? He's not claiming, he's telling it like it is. That, of course, still has to be proven within the Look confines of the, the wrestling ring. <laughs> number one, number one! Pull that Paul Peller in there. Who do you think he is? Well, I think Paul like... Peller is doing an outstanding I don't think Paul Peller is doing referee. nothing. Put a striped shirt on I me, think... think he's God. I got news for him. I think he's doing an excellent job at keeping the action under control and within the rules. Now the Sheik. The Sheik getting some assistance here from his manager. Bobby Bass. And Bass doesn't seem to want to relinquish this claim for the $6,000 that Cortez picked up for body slamming the Sheik. Referee Paul Peller. flesh in the ring, really going at it. The Sheik now climbing back in. The Sheik trying his best to body slam Cortez, and that doesn't work. The Sheik, constantly frustrated in this match, seems to be losing his composure. And I don't think the antics of his manager, no class Bobby Bass, are helping one bit. He makes me want to puke. What's wrong with this man? You can't knock him down? You owe me $6,000, boy! Hey, I got to focus off of mommy. Mommy, very upset. Very, very upset. $6,000 is a lot of money. I'm going to get a back of this hide one way or the other, Daddy. You can guarantee your life on that. Dang! Now a test of strength between Cortez and the Sheik. We'll see who comes out on top in this particular exchange. Uh, why the Kane and the Akamon on top? The Sheik with a boot to the midsection. He's on his knees. Look at that. I'll, I'll give the Sheik that much. He's on his knees. It was a clever maneuver on his part, spotting the opening and taking advantage. Can you hear the excitement when the Sheik got him down there, the electricity flowing from the ring? Can you dig it, Daddy? Can you dig it? Cortez getting to his feet now. Hercules, Ayala Cortez. Gets another boot to the midsection. And the fans. Uh, really on the Cortez bandwagon, much to the chagrin of the Iranian Sheik and his manager, no class Bobby Bass. And now Cortez, with some big boots of his own, kicks his way out of the hold. Well, I'll tell you, the antics of... 
The antics of Bob Bass just never seem to end. The Sheik asking for some room in order to get into the ring area. What about them two kicks, Mac? Why you don't say nothing about that, do you? No, that's pretty good in your book. I cheat, Mac. I cheat. I thought those particular kicks by Hercules Ayala Cortez were well executed within the rules of wrestling. Bass doing his best to distract Cortez. A rake across the back. And the Sheik with a big knee and now a boot has Cortez at his mercy. Hercules Cortez down on his knees in this corner. He struggles to his feet, but the Sheik relentless in his pursuit of victory continues his assault. Whip Cortez into the turnbuckle. And now the bear hug. The bear hug being applied by the Iranian Sheik. The fans really in Jordan Cortez to break the hold. And we've got another battle taking place. A war of words between referee Paul Peller and no class Bobby Bass. Cortez trying his best to break the hold. The excitement in here. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, Cortez is able to get out of that situation. His head going into the turnbuckle. The Sheik. Really doing a number on Cortez, but Cortez has found a way to hang on to victory. A reversal. The Sheik goes into the turnbuckle. And now Cortez starts to fling the right hand. Hercules, Ayala Cortez. He's gone wild right now. An elbow smash off the rope. A boot to the head. And another boot to the head. And another. Hercules Ayala Cortez. Receives a boot coming off the ropes. He was looking for the body slam. Now Sheik missing with a right hand. Gets one in return instead. And Cortez with a body slam! If there was ever any doubt, if there was ever any doubt about Cortez and his ability to body slam the Sheik, it has been silenced right here. One, two, three! One, two, three! It's all over! Cortez has emerged victorious against the Iranian Sheik.